Well, there's still one more thing I want to talk about. This will crop up. You need to know what's going on here. Another complex fraction, just like we did in the previous one. The numerator is itself a fraction. Denominator is a fraction. Well, the top one, the numerator, just write it down. 18 over 8. But this one, you flip it over, just like any division problem with fractions. 16 goes here, 9 goes here, and I end up multiplying. Now remember, this thing about dividing by the same number. The top of this, the bottom of this, I can divide them by the same number if I want to. Uh, these, I can't divide those by the same number. But what about the top of this and the bottom of this? Yeah, let's do that. I can divide both those by 8. Well, I'll divide this by 8, that's 1. Divide this by 8, that's 2. I can divide this and this by the same number, can't I? Yes, I can. I can divide both those by 9. Divide this by 9, that's 1. Divide this by 9, that's 2. Now all I have to do is multiply the two top numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. Now here's what I want to talk about. Any number over 1 is just that number. You would never leave it that way. You wouldn't say the answer is 4 over 1. The answer is what? 4. And you probably know this, but I'm going to point this out again in case you don't, or you forgot fourth grade math. So, always, if a number's over 1, just make it that number. You come out with an answer like, you know, 16 over 1 is just the number 16. Well, there we finished with our fractions. Don't you feel smart? Yes, I do.